BYD, they have slashed the price of the seal. And now you've got a really tough question on your hands because Tesla reduced the price of the Model 3 to the point where it's just an insanely good deal. But BYD have done the same thing. So now the Tesla Model 3 standard range is about the same price as a BYD long range. Which one do you choose? Which one do you go for? This is actually a very difficult question. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Now, guys, quick uh, comparison here. It's a little bit confusing because BYD have only revealed the price drive away here in Australia. So that includes taxes and includes your any additional fees you have to pay. The drive away price for the BYD seal, the premium version, which is basically the BYD long range, it is 58800 Australian dollars. So about 39,000 US dollars, 38,000 US dollars to give you guys in America some context here on uh, how cheap it is, right? The Tesla Model 3 standard range drive away price here in Australia, it's actually about $59,700, depending on the state you're in. I'm just looking at New South Wales right now, but approximately, it's approximately a thousand, just under a thousand dollars more to buy a Tesla Model 3 standard range than a BYD Seal Premium. Very close now. You can't really on price say, I'm gonna buy one on price versus the other because they're basically the same price. Amazing, amazing. Either of these cars, I mean, honestly, if you bought either of them, I would be envious. <laughs> I really would be. Now, you've also got the BYD Seal Performance. And the BYD Seal Performance price has been reduced to 68,750 drive away, um, everywhere except Western Australia. Anyhow, for the rest of Australia, which is uh, most of Australia, it's $68,750, which actually is the same as the performance costing about $64,000, about $64,000 for the BYD Seal performance. And the BYD Seal is about $54,000. Plus then, of course, the um, drive away fees are added in. So you end up paying uh, $58,800 for the premium and $68,750 for the Performance. So the discounts are around about $6,000 off both models. It's a pretty big discount, approximately $6,000. That kind of makes it a bit easier to understand. If you compare the BYD performance um, to the Tesla Model 3 performance, it's a, a big price gap. It's a huge price gap. I mean, the difference is $87,000 drive away in, a, in New South Wales for the Tesla Model 3 Ludicrous versus $68,000. So it's about it's about an $18,500 $18, difference between the BYD Seal Performance and the Tesla Model 3 Ludicrous. Now, some of you would probably be saying, well, they're not directly comparable because the Tesla Model 3 is much faster than the BYD Seal Performance. You're right. The question is, are you willing to pay $18,500 for probably what would amount to about half a second difference in terms of you know, zero to 62, zero to 100 kilometer an hour times. Not a huge gap. I mean, but honestly, in the supercar world, that would be considered a pretty big gap. But um, in the real world, probably not going to notice a huge difference, to be honest. So the BYD Seal uh, performance or the BYD Seal, um, let's call it the ludicrous version versus Tesla's Model 3 ludicrous. It's a it's an amazing deal. It's a really tough question here. Which one are you going to get? Because they're both insanely good value for money and maybe Maybe guys, maybe you got to say now that the BYD Seal Premium or the, the BYD Seal Performance, now you've got to say maybe it's the best value performance car in Australian history. If you look at the performance times, I mean, we're looking at what, you know, 3.7 seconds, 0 to 62 miles an hour, 0 to 100 kilometers an hour, 3.7 seconds for $68,000 drive away. I don't think that's actually ever happened in the history of Australia. So... You know, the funny thing is, guys, I saw a, a meme that's going viral here and it said something along the lines of uh, when EVs first came out, everyone said EVs are slow. Um, now, now that EVs are so much faster than internal combustion, everyone's saying, oh, performance doesn't matter. Straight line speed's irrelevant. Um, EVs, they are just, they're a hassle to fill up. You have to be able to fill up in less than five minutes. Otherwise, they're not worth buying. So there's sort of stupid comments like that where, what I, what I think it is, is people moving the goalposts. They move the goalposts and they say, oh, no, 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 now that EVs are better than us at this, um, we're gonna just choose a different metric. It's coming from people who don't like change. 
There's never been a better time, right, in, in the history of Australia. Uh, we have the most amazing opportunity here having getting these, these EVs, which are made, really well made in China, um, made by BYD and Tesla, and we have, we have amazing choice. So which vehicle would you go with, BYD Seal Premium or the Tesla Model 3 Standard Range? It's a really tough question because I think in the real world, you're going to find the range of both these cars is going to be very, very similar, right? Uh, performance in the real world, I think that the the BYD Seal Premium and the Tesla Model 3 Standard Range, it's going to be rel relatively similar in terms of performance in the real world. So then the question just comes down to your personal preference. Like to, to me, having the indicator buttons on the steering wheel, I, I think that's totally fine. I don't, I don't mind that. But for some people, they're like, no, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. For those kind of people, yeah, you're definitely going to choose the BYD Seal, aren't you? But I mean, for people who are, um, they're wanting more of the software experience, they're wanting that experience where you can, there's all these different software capabilities of the Tesla vehicle that, um, you know, BYD is not there yet, to be honest, let's be frank, they're not, uh, but neither is anyone really. That's one big advantage Tesla has, software. There's no doubt about it, the software of, the Tesla, of Tesla's is far superior to BYD, but then BYD have some other advantages. They have a quite a big battery pack. So in the real world, you might actually get a little bit more range from the seal. And of course, they do have a digital screen right in front of the driver. They do have normal, no, normal indicator stalks. So, you know, there's pros and cons of both vehicles. And I honestly think it's really hard to make a decision between a BYD seal and a Tesla Model 3 standard range. Which one are you going to get? Now, when it comes to the BYD seal performance, for $68,000 drive away, I mean, that is, that is such an amazing deal. Look at the performance of, say, a, a Holden Commodore. You know, a General Motors um, really vehicle, but a Holden Commodore SS with V8. I mean, both of these cars make that thing look like the oldest, slowest dinosaur you have ever seen in your life. You know what, guys? There's never been a better time to be alive because if you think, if you think about it, most people now that are buying EVs, they have solar. And if you don't, go and get it. I mean, literally, you can get an amazing solar system that you can pay off within less than two years. And then you're just getting basically free electricity. You can charge your EV during the middle of the day using all that excess solar peak, right? There's amazing deals now with um, electricity companies now to charge your EV. So you can save so much money by having an EV, but you're not missing out because you, you can save enormous amounts of money having an EV, massive amounts of money. Who cares about resale? Every car loses money on resale. That's irrelevant. But at the same time, you can really have your cake and eat it because you're looking at cars now that are so fast, it's insane. Uh, luxury is up there at the, the most insane level. You, you don't get the noise when you're driving, right? Or the noise from an engine, the rumble from an engine. Now, in the past, guys, in order to have big performance, you needed to have a really loud engine, a loud exhaust, you know, all these compromises. But now you don't have to compromise. You can have your cake and eat it. You can have your performance. You can have your luxury and you can, well, charge it virtually for free. Thanks for watching.